this is my third attempt to do this. My heater keeps turning on in my garage, but this is part two. Part two of swapping a 300 CB motor into my 2017 Honda Grom. Last part, last episode, however you want to call it. We took out my Neo motor, built five speed gorgeousness, courtesy of hardracing.com. Check them out. That's where you get your A Racer stuff. Um, anyways, this episode, we're going to make it short, sweet, not going to be 20 minutes like the last episode. It's been a while since I made a video and that one went on too long. Um, we're going to take out the stock harness on this Grom, my Grom. We're also going to actually remove the Speedo when I said we weren't going to. I just want more room to work. Um, I also picked up um, CB300 controls because I'm not 100% positive if these controls will work with the CB300 harness. I believe it will, but just in case, I don't want to wait. So I picked up two OEM controls, left and right side. Um, it should work. We're going to test the ground ones though, to save you money if they do. Um, yeah, so this one's going to be the harness removal. I am going to make it so there's no long freaking montages or whatever you call it. We're just going to make it short and sweet. I'm going to show you what you need to disconnect, what unplugs, what unbolts. Um, if I remember, I'll tell you the sizes of the tools you'll need. Um, and just like my last episode, last video, all the parts I'm using for this swap are going to be linked in the description. Um, they're not affiliated or anything. You don't make money on YouTube and I'm too small of a YouTuber. If you can even call me that. Um, as the episodes go on, I will add more parts in the list. So the very last episode of this build series, if you call it, um, will have the most updated parts. So this episode video might have more parts listed than the first one. If I remember when I'm editing, I'll go back and add to it, but I'm old. I don't know if I'll be able to remember. So I'm gonna mount the camera up. My heater just turned on, I don't know if you can hear it. I got my nerd stream on and let's get this thing started. First thing we're gonna do, battery terminals, fuses, ground, um, rectifier, whatever this is. Um, we gotta unplug the tail light, which we'll do that now. These are your blinkers, already unplugged. Um, your harness. This is, yeah, this is OEM harness, so I already unplugged this, so that's done. Uh, let's get this out, this pulls out. Just shoved back there. Um, a few of these clips, I call them Christmas tree clips. You'll need to undo. But this one's a pain. Put the bolt back, you don't want to lose it. This is our 10 millimeter. This wire is your tip sensor. So now we got battery part. Uh, this is going to be your brake switch, which, if you can see them on there, there's two plugs. There's another one of those Christmas tree clips. For stuff like this, uh, Use a screwdriver, come in from the other side, and just you'll see the tabs to pinch. Easy peasy, drop it down. This is your air temp sensor on your intake. Keep that with it. Unplug this, unplug that. The throttle cable or clutch cable out of the way. 
little hanger on the bottom. As I pinch my thumb, that fucking hurt. So that's the side. Now we're gonna move the camera and go to the other side. So fuel on, you can move out of the way. This looks so big because this is the bigger fuel line for a Honda Grom. So now we got the harness out. These are underglow wires, you won't have these. Um, so we're gonna disconnect it from this white plug, Christmas tree clip, do it from the other side of the flathead, um, and then we gotta undo, I move the camera, fuel pump cover, we gotta unplug the fuel pump. We can reuse the stock fuel pump in the Grom, so we don't need to take the fuel pump out, we just gotta unplug the plug that's up there. These are two 10 millimeter bolts. Ha! Pull this cover, fuel pump wire out. Now, most of the harness is undone here. We're gonna keep going. We got another Christmas tree clip. Um, these are your sensors on your throttle body. This is your charcoal canister. I forgot to mention in the last video, charcoal canister is gonna be here. Um, I removed it because you don't need it in New Hampshire. I think it's only like California. Um, so this is the plug to it. So if your charcoal canister is here, you'll have to remove it. You don't gotta put it back on. Um, that's just the plug. It's not plugged into anything, doesn't do anything. So get this out. undo this Christmas tree clip. I am never getting that out, so yank it. So now we got the harness done up to the forks. We're gonna, I'm gonna remove the Coso dash. It's just an Allen um, stock, I believe, is mounted with Phillips screws. There's three. So let's remove this. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know where that screw went. Two hours later. So this is, if you can see this on camera, this is just, this wire is my LED wire, which you won't have. Tuck that out of the way. This is Coso Dash. Um, you won't have any of this really. You'll just have this one gray plug. Which we unplug. My dash is going to dangle because I have other wires attached to it. I have my radar detector, obviously, which you need when you're in Tennessee because I've already got a ticket without one. So I'm going to move this. These are your controls. They are tucked in this metal bracket. These are your your uh, high beams blinker controls. We're gonna unplug these. Leave the controls on for now. Get this out from there. This harness out of this bracket. Like that. Another Christmas tree clip. Plug this one. These are your other controls. Your ignition. Ow! So, that's unplugged. I believe we can use the ignition. Need to get this unplugged. That's the horn. So 
that's all headlight controls and harness. Headlight controls and ignition, I mean. Get it around this brake cable. Slide it under. So that can slip through the forks. So that is the entire Grom wiring harness. Actually, it wasn't that bad. So the only thing we got left is we got the vent tubes for the fuel tank. Um, realistically, you probably should have taken this off. I should have probably taken this off to get this off to get to the plug, but the screwdriver worked. Fuel line, I still got my 10 hole injector I gotta get out of there. Um, again, these are my underglow wires, underglow wires. That is your throttle cable. That is my DJ1 gauge. So here is my ignition we unplugged. That was a bitch. Uh, we got the left controls, right controls, um, the horn we unplugged. This is my radar detector wire. Like I showed before, I have a radar detector linky light in there. My Coso dash, I'm gonna leave that there. So the stock harness on the Coso dash is plug and play, so I'm pretty sure the 300F harness is gonna plug right into this, which so we shouldn't have any problems with that. Like I said before, I'm gonna try the Grom controls with the harness with these plugs. I am almost positive they'll work, but if not, you guys can call me a liar and you can use them for your, use the 300 controls. Um, ignition coil. Left that on, I believe we can use this. We have to swap the end cap rubber grommet from this, the Grom, to the CB300 one. Um, this is the clutch cable. We are replacing this. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video. This is the Takagawa clutch cable for the Takagawa side cover, so it won't work. And I purchased, do I have it here? I do. Um, this is a OEM, as I throw it on the ground, this is the OEM housing clutch cable for a Grom with an extended cable inside. So it will follow the same lines, but the actual cable itself is extended for the 300 swap. Um, the reason for this is this gives you plenty of adjustment where if you use the Grom cable, which you can use the factory Grom cable, you just will not have any clutch adjustment, which I, I want clutch adjustment, so that's why I got that. Um, this is the uh, rear brake switch, which I'm pretty positive will plug in. This is tail light, which you unplug. That is the grounding spot for all the wiring harness. Obviously we took out the battery stuff. Um, this is all tail light. Yours will look different. This is all literally wire hacked. I got a flasher, um, TST light and stuff. So yours will be different if you're OEM. It'll be much cleaner looking. So that is all the cables. That was quite simple. Um, I think, you know what, this episode's short. Everyone's told me I should remove the gas tank. So I'm gonna remove the gas tank. It should make it easier to mount the 300 harness, which is ridiculous. It's three times the size of the Grom, Grom harness. So we're gonna remove the gas tank in this episode too. And that should be it for this episode. So let's get the gas tank off and then I'll talk some more.
two 10 mils in the back, one here, one on the other side as I kick the camera and now you can't see. Ten mil in the front. It's a long bolt with a nut in the back, so you'll probably need to have a ten mil wrench on the back. These are your stock air box bolts. Air box bolts. I just kept them in there. Now we could lift the tank out. Make sure you guide the fuel line out. You don't want to break it. Top. These are all your vent hoses, overflow, overflow hose. Tuck that out of there somehow. And you won't have these wires, those are underglow. Tank off. So we got the tank off from the frame. It is weird looking to see a Grom without any of that on there, but wire harness is off. Um, again, these are just LED wires. Don't worry about them. The bike is looking bare. So I'm going to end this video here. I don't think there's anything else to do. We're gonna, Like I said, we're going to leave the Grom controls on. We're going to try them at least. Um, but the tank's off. That should give us m enough room to put the harness in there. That 300 harness is massive. you got to fold it like three times that I've seen under the gas tank. Um, uh, this side, the left side, you'll have like the charcoal canister. Ditch that, throw that thing in the trash, burn it. I don't care what you do with it, give it to China. Um, it gives you just so much more room for wiring. So after this episode, I think the next episode, we're going to tackle the 300 motor, like I said. Um, we're gonna replace the clutch in it. Um, the clutch is probably fine, but I just wanna have a fresh one in there. But thank you for watching. Hopefully this video when I edit it will be not as long as the last video. You sit on a throne of lies. What else? Anything else? Anything else? I don't think I got anything else. Uh, parts will be listed in the description. Hopefully more up to date than the first episode. Maybe they're the same. I don't know. Questions? Put them in the comments. I'll answer them when I can. I'm going to clean this bike up off camera. Get it a little bit better. Organize. Clean up all my tools and prep the motor. I'm probably gonna start recording that tonight. I've never taken apart a 300 motor, so it's gonna be fun. So thanks again guys for watching. Have a good one.